successfully done. There is another thing called deployment testing. Okay. Okay, I have done all the testing, but you are not putting in real servers. So what they do is there is something called staging servers, right? The staging servers meaning they are almost like real servers in production. When I say production, it means live environment. Production servers are the one which is really being used by customers even now, right? What they do is they mimic the same kind of a configuration. Maybe production will have 10 servers. They may have two staging servers. But put your product in that server because environment may cause some problems. You might have tested in a different configuration, in a different settings, but ultimately the product is going to run in live servers. That environment is not known to you before in full detail you may know it but not exactly experiencing it so to make you experience what the production environment be they try to have something called staging servers install the product on staging do one round of testing okay Typically, during this deployment testing, they will try all uh, positive flows, right? Because the negative flows on the field level, they may ignore, form level, they may ignore, but they will try to do, to, to see just whether the product really runs. During this point, they will try to see whether there is any data impact or performance impact rather than uh, field level validation messages or uh, warning messages, right? So install the product in staging servers, then do another round of testing that is called deployment testing. So if you really see unit, integration, system, UAT, deployment, five levels of testing. This is, this is a huge effort incurred by every client on the testing budget. Reason? Get the best quality. This is the motto, right? To get the best quality, we need to go through that much of a pain. Many people will say, I think one of the guys here is asking, is all the people, whether, are all the people doing this kind of a testing? Okay? Is everyone doing the testing? Right? Is it real? Are you joking? Is it real? Is it theory? This is not theory. This is real. A lot of companies are doing this much of a painful work to get the best quality. I can say in this way, all the best products have gone through this pain of testing. Without that testing effort, they have not reached they have reached this position of best products. You name every software biggies, right? It's not that easy. Relentlessly, right? In fact, some products may even waited one decade to come out. But after the decade, they have got the hearts of everybody. Reason? The quality. Build, test, build, test, build, test, repeat, repeat. So you fine tune. I think many people might have seen the musicians practicing for hours, right? Uh, practice for hours together. Why? I need to perform in the symphony, right? Then I must be perfect. No mistakes allowed. One album of a particular singer is getting, say, 10 million copies sold. That means that that artist has attained that kind of a perfection but the artist has practiced four hours five hours together maybe for months to do that so if you want that kind of a quality go for build test build test again and again i could show something see if you see here 
I'm just clicking notepad help about notepad you could see something called the build 2600 that means within Microsoft 2600 times notepad has been tested not just one or two times but you could see that quality everywhere if you see a build number just watch it it will be a huge number reason it takes those many iterations to attain perfection without that it is not that uh, it's not that easy you have to wait you need to have that patience right so I think uh, one person here is asking say see I am I'll be really bored to do this kind of a testing yes whether you there may be some boring times uh, I won't say it is always encouraging because you may do the hundred tests or even 200 tests you may not find a bug that shows the product attained maturity right it doesn't mean that you are inefficient not able to find the bugs that you are testing all the others that you are at least saying yeah this product works in 200 different ways at least you are ensuring that right you have to ensure two things product works as per specs that is one area yes you have to do that second area is product does not break in a wrong sequence of operation or due to wrong data you need to test this also product works as per the specs at the same time product does not break when I do a wrong sequence of operation or due to a wrong data right so you need to test both if product fails you are finding a bug if product works you are achieving the first goal right so you need to do both sir two full days I have worked but I have not got any bugs fine but you have done something good many people will feel bored if they don't get bugs don't be bored at least you are doing that the motto one product works as per the specs right that time it may be slightly boring but if you don't do it we may not attain that perfection only when you attain the perfection you may be making billions right take any product companies in uh, the software field they have got money only when they attained perfection so but that perfection comes through so much of testing right what I used to say is if there are no developers then there is no product to use so if somebody has not developed what will you use right so developers are important to create the product if there are no testers then there is no useful product you may have some product but it may be breaking here and there left right and center so it is not useful it is not usable so somebody has to create somebody to point out the mistakes so somebody is there to fix that mistake unless this happens one after the other and repeatedly it is very difficult to attain that kind of a perfection only when you attain the perfection you can make millions and billions till then you have to wait you have to be patient you have to be alert you have to persevere that particular uh, path of testing again and again and again after all these things are finished then product goes to maintenance right after deployment server product goes to maintenance maintenance we will take it in a separate session thank you